Breaking, Hillary rushed to hospital after suffering humiliating accident in public and it's bad. Hillary Clinton is far from the campaign trail but the public calamities that were on full display then, which brought her health into question, have now just resurfaced with a vengeance on her book tour. Ironically, while hawking her memoir that's riddled with blame for Donald Trump making her look bad as to why she didn't win the White House, the truth of the real issue slipped out under the most humiliating circumstances. Call it karma catching up with her but the truth has a way of revealing itself and there's no way she can disguise it any longer. Hillary had just arrived to go live on a British television show today to promote her new book What Happened When the World Saw What Really Happened and she was rushed to the hospital. This is going to be a hard one to recover from and if we're lucky, we may never see her in public again after this major embarrassment. Hillary has been visibly unstable for more than a year, often looking disoriented and unsure on her own two feet. She thought she has perfected ways of disguising what's either a major medical issue or perpetual public intoxication, but oftentimes gravity got the best of her. Perhaps she had overmedicated herself ahead of a public interview or she's just a klutz, but Hillary took a huge fall down some stairs at the studio and ended up with some broken bones. Her excuse for it after didn't add up, only adding to her issues since now it's clear that she's hiding something far worse than what she's ready to admit. Washington Examiner reports Hillary Clinton cancelled several media appearances Monday while on her book tour in London after she fell down the stairs and broke her toe. I was running down the stairs in heels with a cup of coffee in hand, I was talking over my shoulder and my heel caught and I fell backwards, Clinton told the Graham Norton show. I tried to get up and it really hurt. I've broken my toe. I've received excellent care from your excellent health service. While her excuse was made to sound like an innocent fall we've probably all suffered before, it doesn't make sense. She claimed that she simply fell backward and ended up with a broken toe. The logistics of a fall like that would cause one's feet to fly out in front, above them. With your feet in the air, it really makes it hard to break a toe. You could hurt a wrist catching yourself, a tailbone landing too hard, or other parts of the body. But a toe for falling backward is a difficult feat. Unless the fall was such a tangled, debaucherous mess that your feet got underneath you. If that's the case, then we need to see a video of it to prove it and see just how Hillary managed to make such a maneuver. But in the meantime, we have video evidence of all of the other times recently she has fallen in public, which points to a trend and a much deeper issue. The Daily Mail listed out a timeline of the falls. It's easy to see a habit forming here, either a substance habit that makes her weak in the knees or a hidden health issue she's too prideful to admit. This is not the first time the failed presidential Democratic candidate has taken a public tumble, Mail Online pointed out before listing out the evidence that gravity is consistently not her friend. 9-11 Memorial in 2016, Hillary made headlines after she was captured on video collapsing into the arms of her Secret Service agents after being rushed from the 9-11 Memorial Service at the World Trade Center last year. On the campaign trail in 2016, she stumbled up the stairs while boarding her flight to a rally in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, in October 2016. While visiting a rehabilitation center in 2016, she lost her balance briefly while climbing of the steps of a home for ex-offenders and substance abusers on the grounds of the former Charleston Navy Yard in February 2016. She was helped up by her aides. While inside her Washington home in 2013, she also famously fell inside her home in 2013 on the eve of testimony before a Senate committee investigating Benghazi. She ended up getting a mild concussion. When she appeared in Congress, she was wearing special prism eyeglass lenses, which are used to assist people experiencing double vision. Before her flight to Yemen in 2011, the then Secretary of State was boarding a plane to Yemen when she slipped to her knees at the doorway and was only safe from further embarrassment when an aide gave her a helping hand. Hillary is falling all over the place and stumbling on the truth which she's still trying to deny no matter how obvious it is. We really dodged a bullet with her not being elected. The strongest most powerful nation in the world doesn't need a klutz, drunk, feeble, 
or ill individual leading us and embarrassing America on the world stage. So to answer the statement on the cover of her memoir, what happened, not being able to hold yourself up in public is what happened, Hillary. It's time to take a load off that broken toe on retirement from politics and the public eye. Okay.